Hello, this is Nicholas from ST Microelectronics. I'm a field application engineer supporting ST microcontrollers. And this is Lab 1 of our STM32 C0 MOOC. We will start with a very easy project to blink the LED on your nuclear board using a GPIO. The objective of this lab is to generate a simple project using our STIDE called the STM32 CubeID software. In this example, we will blink one of the LED on our STM32 C031 nuclear board, which is connected to the GPIO PA5 of our STM32 C0 microcontroller. We will start by running the STM32 CubeID software. For this, double click on the STM32 CubeID icon that should be on your desktop. It has been created during the installation of the software. We will then select the workspace directory and then click launch. This is my icon on my desktop. I'm going to double click on it. And then I'm going to select my workspace directory. So I'm going to use the default one and then click launch. We will start from the information center to create a new project. So for this, click on this icon right there in your STM32 cube ID, and then click on Start New STM32 Project. So to access the Information Center, you can click on this icon right there, you see? So this is the Information Center, or you can go to Help Information Center. So this will open this window, and then we're going to start a new project using this icon. So click on this icon, Start New STM32 Project. From this window, we will select the STM32 for our project. We will select the STM32 using the MCU MPU selector tab, which is located here. So select this, and then we will enter right here the part number that we'll be using. We will be using the STM32 C0, 31, C6, T6. So this means this is a LQFP uh, 48 pin with 32 kilobytes of flash. So this is the STM32 that is on your nuclear board. And then, once you select it here, press next. Okay, so from this window that just opened, uh, what you want to do is select the MCU MPU selector tab. And then right here, we will input STM32 C0, 31, C6, T6. And then right here, select you know, the part number and press next. We will now give a name to the project. So in project name, put the name that you want. So in my case, I'm going to put, uh, so STM32C0 underscore Blinky, and then click Finish. So now we're going to configure the pin that we'll be using to turn on or off the LED on our nuclear board. So from the schematic right here, you can see that PA5, of your STM32C0 is connected to this transistor right there to turn on or off this green LED, which is uh, LD4. So we're going to configure PA5 as an output push-pull, and we'll use, you know, to output 0 or 1 to turn on or off, you know, the LED. So in STM32CubeID, you should have now this window that is called the IOC file. So this is the, the device configuration tool, you know, uh, also called Cube MX, that is embedded inside the SM32 Cube ID. So you should have this open. If it's not the case, you can find it in your project right here. So you can double click on it to open it. And what we wanted to do is from this package, so this is the pinout uh, tab, pinout and configuration tab, 
we are going to look for PA5. Okay, so PA5 is here. Now, what you're going to do is a left click. So left click on PA5, and we're going to select GPIO output mode, like this. Okay, so now it should be in green, PA5, and GPIO output selected. So to be sure we have selected the proper mode, which is output push-pull, so you're going to select GPIO here, expand it, select PA5, and make sure that uh, the GPIO mode is output push-pull. See, it could be also open drain if you want. But here in this case, we want to make sure that this is output push-pull. So select output push-pull. Next step, we are going to give a label to PA5. So to do that, you're going to go put you know, your mouse on PA5, then right click. And here you're going to select enter a user label. So enter the user label that you want. So I'm going to put LED and then press enter. Okay, so now you see we have created a label. So for PA5 named LED. Now we can generate the code. So to do this, either you go to project generate code or you press Alt and K or you just save the project. To generate the code, so what you can do is from the menu here, select project and then generate code or you know Alt and K. Another method, very simple, is just save your project. So that's what we're going to do. Save, we will generate the code. We're going to change the perspective because now we're going to enter a C and C++ perspective. So please press yes. And now we have our you know, project files. So main.c that is open. Now it's time to add some code to toggle the LED. To do this, so in main.c, so if it's not open, you can open it, so you can find it into you know, your project, core, and then source directory, double click on main.c. Now we're going to add some code, you know, there's two lines of code here. So one that is using a function from our HAL library called HAL underscore GPIO underscore toggle pin, and then the port, so this is, you know, LED, so the user, you know, remember uh, label that we used. So LED underscore GPIO underscore port, and then comma, the pin number, so which is LED underscore pin in our case, because we added like a user, you know, label. And then we'll add the delay function. So this is still a function, you know, from the HAL library. And this is going to add a 100 milliseconds delay. So in this infinite loop, we're basically going to toggle the GPIO uh, LED, so PA5, every 100 milliseconds. So as you can see, we're using this user code begin and user code end sections. That means that every time you add some code, so this is your user code, when you regenerate from you know, Cubemx you know, or regenerate the code, this will preserve it. So this is very useful. This is your generated code. So here are the different folders you know, in your project. The includes right here. The core folder. So this is where you're going to find your main.c and all the most of the user codes, let's say, that are located here. Your includes, so H files are going to be here. And then you have the startup file in this folder. Here, this is you know where the drivers, the HAL you know drivers, the cube HAL drivers are going to be located, and the SimSys drivers too. All right, so this is our project. If you don't have main.c open, open it, so you'll find it under core, source, main.c. So this is the file. Uh, we can see that, so we have the HAL init, that is the first function that is called. 
So this is to initialize you know, the flash interface and the Sysstick and reset all the peripherals. Then here we have the clock configuration you know, function. Uh, we'll look at that later on in another lab because we didn't touch it. We're using the default settings. Here is the GPIO settings that we, uh, you know, like uh, configured. So remember, we added uh, one IO connected to the LED and we configured it as output push-pull. So this is here. So now let's look at this defines. So remember, we entered some, uh, you know, like defines, some user labels. Uh, so this is where this is uh, defined, right there. So in your main.h. Now we're going to add some code in the main function. So go back to main.c, right here. And we're going to scroll up. So this is our main function, right here. We're going to add some code in the while loop because we want to blink the LED, you know, like uh, permanently. So we're going to add one function to toggle the uh, GPIO connected to the LED. And then we're going to add a delay of, in this case, in 100 milliseconds. Let's add some code to toggle the LED. So we're going to use some HAL functions. So from our uh, HAL library, the cube HAL library. So the functions, they start with, you know, H-A-L in uppercase and then underscore. And then we're going to use a function. So if you press on your keyboard, control space, this will help you to find all the functions that we have available. So in our case, we want, you know, to toggle a GPIO, so GPIO, and then we're going to find from the function to toggle the pin. This is it. Now we're going to enter the first parameter, which is the port. So we're going to use the, remember, uh, uh, you know, like uh, the assignment that we gave. So this is LED. So this is the define that we created for this uh, pin. And we're going to double click. Now we're going to do the same. Control space, LED pin. So this is the pin that is used, you know, to toggle the LED. And then close this. And now we're going to add our, you know, like uh, delay function. So the delay function is here. Parameter is in milliseconds. So we're going to enter 100. And this is it. We're going now to build the project. To build the project, so there is an icon right here. Do you see the hammer right here? So you can click on this. Otherwise, what you can do is select your project and build project, or you can also find it from project, build all. But we're going to use this icon and we're going to use this icon for the rest of the labs. So the build went well. We have zero errors, zero warnings. So that's perfect. And now we can debug our project. To debug, you're going to connect, you know, your USB cable to your Nucleo and then connect it to your host machine using the USB port. It is now enumerated as a ST-Link. So the ST-Link has been enumerated by your host machine. And you can now enter the debug session to do this. So there is an icon right here, like the little bug, as you can see. So just click on it. This will open this window. So this is the configuration window for debug. So this is, for example, where we have the ST link that is uh, selected. We're going to keep the default settings and press OK. Now, if it's the first time you do this, you know, you might have a window that will pop up to update the firmware of the ST-Link. So what you want to do is click yes. I want to update my code. There is a newer code available and I want to do that. This will open this window. Now click on open in update mode. And now you can upgrade. Let's upgrade the code. Okay, it's upgraded. We can close it and click again on the little icon, you know, to debug. By the way, to debug, you can also 
uh, right click, debug as, stm32, ac, you know, like C and C++ application. Or you go to run, debug as, and stm32, C and C++ application. So we're going to click on this icon. And that's what we're going to use for the rest of the labs. So click on it. And now we're going to enter a debug session. Switch. And this is where, so this is where, you know, we're going to start from the main function. And you can execute your code from there. So click on resume or F8. So this is the icon right there with the green arrow. And now you can see on your board the LED, the green LED that is blinking as we expect. So that's great. So this is uh, perfect. So that's a great way to finish this lab. So we completed the lab one. Now we can stop the execution. So you terminate right here. And we're going to close this project. So you right click on it and then click on close project.